okay friends, how are you? I know this is a very different view from how I usually start my video. And the reason for that is it's nighttime and um, I have been asked to show you how I set up my grow light um, for the evening to give my orchids extra um, light for better growth. So I thought I would share what my setup is. I basically really have three LED lights and each one of them have at least 15 LED units. Um, it's high wattage and I got them from Taiwan. I've always had the middle one right here, but the, the, the two on the sides, I got them from my recent trip to Taiwan and they all cost less than don't hate me but less than 10 US dollars and they work really well part of the reason is because Taiwan is known for semiconductors and the LED industry in Taiwan is also very um, mature so they have a lot of manufacturer, they work with a lot of manufacturer or have manufacturers in China. So they could really produce LEDs with good quality, but, but you know, offer reasonable pricing. So I did not order anything from Amazon or any um, Western online retailers for LED glow lights. I actually went with... Um, a Chinese slash Taiwanese um, channel. I primarily only turn these LED lights on just before I um, go to bed. But as uh, between bedtime and the time that I come home from either my work or my gym um, is the time that I actually turn on um, the LED lights on the ceiling in this grow room. So if I just turn this one on, you can tell it's really bright. Three high wattage LED light bulbs on top of the ceiling here. It's really bright. But if I turn them off, you can tell it's gotten significantly darker. But the three LED grow lights that I put on top still give pretty good um, illumination for this grow room, this grow space. Now, my setup is that I, I like, I prefer these round ones because they can be moved to the left or to the right, depending on which, you know, what I think which orchid needs a special uh, lighting condition. Um, so they're mobile, they're not stationary. And they all each come with like a clip. So I can actually use it for, you know, to clip on the side, etc. But I really only right now only put them on top, on the, on the very top layer. The top level and the middle level do not have um, liners. But the third level here, I do have a liner. At first, I had liners, this kind of liner on each shelf um, but the reason I took out the the liner for the top and the middle shelf is because it is winter time here and we do get pretty limited sunshine even in the state of Texas so I want to make sure that during day daytime when the sunlight come through the window I am not limiting the ability f for the orchids on this shelf to get additional light. You know, if I had the liner here, they're not getting as much sunlight as they would without the liner uh, on this shelf. But another thing is I, I have three switches here in the back, one there, the switch here, and the, so they all each come with a switch, right? So for me, it's very easy in the morning to just turn them off or turn them on 
like that but I do use a twist tie to stabilize the the switches so that way it's easy for me to um, find where the switches are and then this one this is a um, air purifier this one is a hospital grade I also got this one from Taiwan I've had this one for about a year actually no more than a year and it's been working really well um, I, my nose sometimes gets really sensitive, but I have noticed a difference in terms of using this one, and, and I actually have less allergic reaction to to the air in my in, in this grow room, or just air quality overall. I can tell that this one is really making a difference, and like I mentioned, this is a hospital grade. Um, at some hospitals in Taiwan, each room they have a unit like this. And um, because my, my, my grow room is actually smaller than a regular hospital room, so I know this one is definitely, definitely enough, um, you know, efficient enough to purify the air in my grow room. I don't, I don't really know if air purifier really does anything to, to help orchids grow better. However, every time I step into this room, I feel the air is better. Maybe it's just me thinking that, but you know, it doesn't cost a whole lot of energy. So I am doing this just, just in case it does help um, these orchids in some way. Um, I do turn it off when I'm not home. I only turn it on when I'm around um, just to save some energy, but also, um, for safety reasons, I don't like to leave anything electrical on without me being present. Now, just a quick, quick announcement. When I was back in Taiwan, I have met many orchid hobbyists at the flower market. We were talking and I learned that wa water culture... Um, the method of water culture for orchid has become more and more popular in Asia, but at its very initial baby stage. People don't know much about water culture or, or full water culture or semi-water culture growing method for orchids. So um, I am going to start making videos on water culture um orchid growing based on my own experience in Chinese just to help my fellow <laughs> friends, ch um, Chinese speaking friends in Asia to be able to um, learn from my experience and, and be able to exchange and learn from each other. Um, and I do hope that um, this will not cause you to unsubscribe, um, but I will clearly mark that it's in Chinese, so I hope that um, this would not annoy anybody. Uh, but I will continue to make videos in English um, to continue to take you um, on my orchid growing journey. All right, this video is getting a little too long. Pretty soon I will give you some updates on some of these orchids, especially um, some of the ones that actually surprised me with some really good news. Until next time, please take good care of yourself, happy growing, and I'll talk to you at the next video. Ciao!